and ABC News Brief. Now from Washington, Karen Stone. Good evening. The stock market was up dramatically today. The Dow Jones Industrials closed 61 points higher following a report of a major improvement in U.S. trade deficit figures for October. On the minus side, though, House Majority Leader Thomas Foley says he does not expect an early resolution of the White House congressional talks on reducing the federal budget deficit. An agreement may take until next week. The White House said today that Soviet leader Gorbachev will hold three days of working meetings with President Reagan when he comes to Washington for next month's summit conference, and then we will head home. Judge Anthony Kennedy, President Reagan's new Supreme Court nominee, was on Capitol Hill today to drum up support for his nomination. In New York, funeral services were held for Elizabeth Steinberg, the six-year-old child abuse victim whose adoptive father is accused of beating her to death. And some happier news from Beijing, the opening of mainland China's first American fast food restaurant. And later on Nightline, how can anyone pay more than $50 million for a painting and feel they got their money's worth? Ted Koppel's guests include the North American chairman of Sotheby's, whose auction of Van Gogh's irises has set a new world record price. That's News Brief. More news later.